everybody. Tonight we're going to be uh, continuing our playthrough of Boris and the Dark Survival. Um, I think this stream's going to be a longer one tonight because I feel like we're so close to the end that we should be able to wrap everything up tonight. I think we only need four, three or four more scraps, which is kind of like the main collectible I'm looking for. If we find the other two music tracks, great. If we don't, I'm not going to lose sleep over it unless there's something that unlocks. Um, I did just kind of, without spoiling anything for me, I looked up just a couple of things to clarify how things work, because I don't want to waste my time with things if we don't have to. So, uh, I, um, I figured out what the Lost Papers did. That's just what unlocked the, um, the character switching blob of ink, getting the Lost Papers unlocked this over here. And then, uh, there's actually a secret mission that we can do involving musical instruments hidden in the level. So, before we get started, I'm going to run over to that bathroom where we put, uh, Sammy's mask. And there should be some instruments written on the wall that we have to keep an eye out for. So it looks like we got a cello, a drum, a violin, a piano, a snare drum, and a banjo. Alright, so I'm going to need to take note of this. I think I might just take a picture of it with my phone. And then we will keep an eye out for those instruments as we go through the level. And uh, so the goal of tonight's stream is pretty much just to wrap up any loose ends. So... Uh, we're going to look for those last remaining scraps, and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look for those instruments along the way, and uh, hopefully we can finish Boris in the Dark Survival tonight. Pretty pumped. Alright, so, for the people that are going to be watching this on YouTube, this is going to be a very heavily edited video, most likely, because um, the, the only goals that we have is looking for scraps and looking for these instruments. And so everything else is just going to be the same stuff we've been doing the last few days. So one stipulation about this instrument um, side quest thing is that I have to do it without dying. So that's going to make it stressful. Actually, I don't know if I'm supposed to do it as Sammy. And then I think, I think these ink hearts that scream, I don't think they really actually serve a purpose as far as what I could find online. I think they're mostly just supposed to be an easter egg for the projectionist before they added him to the game. So, um, I might just finish this level normally because I don't know if we can do the instrument thing as Boris. We might have to be Sammy for that. But uh, we'll continue to keep our eyes out for lockers because we also need to get scraps. Here's a locker. Fight somebody! I wish we could actually fight back. I miss my axe. Alright. First locker of the night, and it was empty. Not sure why we even bother opening up toilets, because we already have every dance move, as far as I'm aware. Oh crap, Bendy's coming. Yeah. Alright, we'll just finish the level. I need to switch to Sammy anyway. Alright, I'm gonna switch to Sammy really quick. 1v1 me in the wildy. I was on that old school RuneScape grind for the longest time, like a year ago. And then I, uh, I kind of dropped it again. We're gonna go play as Sammy now, and hopefully that should trigger these instruments to show up. I think the banjo, which is the last instrument, is in the safe house. So we just have to find all the other ones in this level, hit them in order, without dying. Ho! Oh, whoa! Hello, Boris. That actually startled me. I don't like that we only have one supply and haven't come across any instruments yet. Thank you so much for the follow, WolfieGamer255 underscore live. That is a mouthful. I really appreciate it. Glad that you could join us. We have a pretty full house tonight. So that's pretty cool. I'm hoping that we can finish this game, but... That's all dependent on how nice these lockers are and how nice Bendy is. 
And right now he's not being very nice. I know there was a teleport spot somewhere around here if I can find it. Here we go. That was really close. Thank you for the host as well, Wolfie Gamer. I really appreciate that. We only need two more supplies, but we haven't found any instruments, which I'm starting to think that this level might not have any. And we haven't found any uh, scraps. All right, here's the plunger. It looks like we haven't been in this room yet. And there's a locker here too, which is awesome. Please have a scrap. So far, we're zero for four or three on these lockers right now. We've got a locker here. There we go. Finally a scrap. Yes. The whole focus of tonight is finding scraps, so I really like that. You played any scary games? Uh, actually, yeah, the last game I... Oh, crap. I've already heard this one anyways. Oh, crap! I didn't think he was over there. I, the last game I played was actually I'm Scared, and that was probably the scariest game that I've played so far. But uh, my main focus on this channel has been scary games, so we played Outlast, we played Penumbra, we played Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. So yeah, no, I, I'm i a big fan of the horror genre. The sucky thing about playing as Sammy is the walking speed. It's not as bad as playing as the last one, but you can't run. And I've made it very clear that I don't think that the teleporting is worth it. But I'm fairly certain that we might need to play as Sammy in order to do this instrument mission. Which I guess it doesn't even matter if the instruments don't show up, so... We're just gonna keep on opening lockers and hoping to find scraps. And when we do finally get to an area that has instruments, I have... Oh, are we just... Okay, a tune. I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. Because once we find all the tunes, then it's only scraps from here on out. So I'll take it. But uh, when we do finally get to a level that has instruments, it's going to really suck playing as Sammy because we have to find every instrument. But finding them is not enough. I have to find them, remember where they were... Because I have to activate them in a certain order. And we have to do it without dying. Oh, gosh. The stupid uh, steam pipes keep on scaring me. Alright, I think I've figured out that those don't actually do anything. But I'll pick them up anyways. Come on! Nothing. I wonder if someone has actually looked into the game to see what the odds of actually finding something in a locker is. Because I gotta imagine they are extremely low. They've got to be pretty low. That was some up dog, my dude. What's up, dog, Bone Carson? Is that what you wanted? Did I. Did I satisfy? What's as big as an elephant, but weighs nothing. See, now we actually got a real honest-to-goodness riddle in the chat. An elephant shadow. Ah, oh, but it's... That was horrible. I appreciate it. Thank you. But we're doing pretty good today. I think we found two scraps and a music track. And I feel like we're finding them way faster than uh, we have before. I don't know, Underfight. Why can two elephants not swim together? Oh, because they only got one pair of trunks. That's funny. Ha ha. I wish Medusa would stop objectifying people. I get it. The ink heart is in seven. Well, being that there's only six ink hearts. Why was six afraid of seven? Six, eight, nine. I don't know if that's how it goes. I get hit by the same bike every day on the way to work. It's a, ah, uh, aha, ah, ah, ha, ha. I get it. Why are pickles called kosher? I feel like they just get progressively worse. Yeah, I got, I got that. I got it. It sounds like juice. I, I, I think I caught that. What has four legs but can't walk? A table, a chair, a bed. Your mom. Oh, jeez. 
I don't know if that's the answer he was looking for. Fine, if you insist on giving yourself the stitches you need, I guess you can just go ahead and suit yourself. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Suit yourself! Oh crap! Oh crap, no he definitely is. Oh no! Oh come on! Oh come on! Oh come on! Come on, come on, get to the thing! I don't know how I did that. I do not know how I did that. I thought I was dead. I thought that dead end was gonna kill me. Can anyone tell me who played Forrest Gump? T. Hanks. Oh my gosh! I don't know what's worse. The, the puns and the riddles, or the fact that I know the answer to pretty much all of them. Or that I get them. If you're American when you go in the bathroom, and American when you come out, what are you in the bathroom? European! Bone, I gotta imagine that you just have like, a web page in front of you with all of these. You're so smart. Why are leather jackets the best for sneaking in? I'm actually- I'm actually trying to think about the answer to this. Like, active- Oh, I found the last ink heart! They're made of hide! Oh, I think I've heard that one, too! Oh, there is instruments! Oh, we actually have some real, honest-to-goodness instruments in this level. I love it. How am I supposed to get to that hiding spot? We can actually do this instrument quest, I think. That's awesome. All right. Let's see if we... Uh, the first thing I need to find is a cello. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Is this... Oh, we got a cello! A bass, whatever you want to call it. All right, now we need to find a bass drum. I think I saw one of those earlier, actually. Okay, bass drum. Uh, violin. We just walked past one up here. Okay, violin. I'm actually getting excited. These are actually pretty next to each other, which is nice. All right, piano. I saw one earlier in the level, but I can't for the life of me remember where that was. Bony wants a pony. See what I did there? It's called rhyming. Poetry. All right. I think there's a piano around here. All right. Piano. And then there's another picture of a drum. I'm assuming that it's a snare drum, but I don't know if I've seen one yet, so I don't know if it means another bass drum again. I just need to get the, the stupid drum, get the gear, and get the heck out of here. You like that? Like how I rhymed again? I'm just full of them today. Okay. Drum. Alright, so I need to hit, grab this gear and make it back to the elevator alive. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I can see where the elevator is, but can I get there or is he going to cut me off? We did it! We did it! Oh yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Alright, I think I hit all the instruments I needed to. We finished the level alive. Um, I think now I just gotta hit the cello, and, uh... Supposedly we're gonna get another Seeker audio tape, like the one that we got for beating Wally's score. I haven't listened to the audio tape yet, so that will be... That will be, uh, blind for me. But, uh, hopefully I did everything right. I heard something open. All right, Sammy, what did we just unlock? Where, where did it where did it end up going? I heard it open up. I just don't know where where it is. I guess we kind of just search around. We only need two more scraps. This music makes it so much more intense. It feels like we just completed a triumphant journey. Now we just gotta find where that audio tape is that we just unlocked. Could it be back in the the room with the musical or with the instruments on the wall? That'd be the most logical place for it to be. 
I'm wondering what it's going to tell us. I'm hoping for some uh, new lore that might lead into the next Bendy game, but I really don't know. Here it is. All right. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Sammy? Is it going to be Joey? It's important to seize an opportunity before it slides through your wrenched fingers. The past so often dies without passing on its bountiful secrets. But oh, Mr. Joey Drew, the secrets you've left behind. How very interesting. Such knowledge. Such opportunity. The time draws near for a dark revival to come at last. Ooh, buddy, he said it. Roll credits. He said it. Guys, could this be the antagonist for Bendy and the Dark Revival? I think that was worth it. I think that was worth going and getting all those instruments. Ooh, that gave me chills. I am so excited for that game to come out. I just want it to come out right now. But I get it. They're taking their time. I appreciate it. I want it to be as perfect as it can be. And I know no matter what they make, it's going to be good. And it's going to be nice when they release all the chapters at once. But I, oh, I want it to come out so bad. Oh, that's why we're playing this right now is because I'm just itching for more Bendy content. You're the antagonist. I don't know, Bones. So far, it seems like that might be the case. All right. So we did the instrument puzzle, which was like 50% of what I wanted to do tonight. And the only thing that we have left now is to get two more scraps. And then I think we'll call it good on uh, Boris and the Dark Survival. The audio tape just got me really jazzed. I am so excited for Bendy and the Dark Revival to come out. We just gotta find scraps. I'm glad they're throwing lockers at me like crazy, but it doesn't help when they're all empty. All right, this is the last uh, supply. I don't know if I wanna grab it yet, but I don't know where else to go, so. Let's just do it. I kinda wanna switch back to Boris, actually before the next level. So I think that's what we're actually gonna end up doing. Because I don't know if I need to be Sammy anymore now that we did that instrument puzzle. 69, 420, your mom, haha. <laughs> Middle school humor. Okay, let's switch back to Boris. Cause I feel like that'll make it a lot easier to find these last two scraps. Should I play as a lost one just for fun? Hey, you know what I just did again? I rhymed. It's like the third time. Oh, I just rhymed again. I'm on a roll. Don't you know? That was bad. I think my rhyming game's okay. I could be a rapper. If the whole Twitch thing doesn't work out, I could always do a uh, SoundCloud. Oh, hi, Bendy. We're facing off against the projectionist. Oh, yeah, let's go. I think that's the last safe house tune. I think it's all all just scraps from here on out. I think we just got two more scraps and then we're done. That'll be it. <laughs> Adult entertainment will be better than rap. Um, I don't know if I'm cut out for that. I need some lockers, though. Because we got all the music tracks, we did the instrument puzzle, literally the, the only reason we're still playing is because we're looking for scraps now. So, the sooner we find the scraps, the sooner I can go to bed. Oh, missed it. Oh, locker. Why you do this to me? Give me some more lockers, please. Oh, here we go. Answered my beck and call. But it didn't answer with what I wanted. I'm trying to think of a joke about carpentry, but the more I think about it, the more I don't think it would work. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are going to kill me with the puns before we even end up finishing the game. Alright, did we accomplish anything this level? 
Is this the level that I got the last musical tune? You know what? Let's actually... Let's listen to the last two musical tunes in the game. Just because we have them now. Uh, we've already heard Big Bendy Business, a safe place. Swinging in Hellfire Follies. I have not heard this one. I was just about to say that it sounds like swing music, and then I remembered what it was named. I'm kind of vibing to this. Should we make should we make Boris vibe with it too? Oh crap! I accidentally started it over. Let's do the Wolf Shuffle. I think that should go good with this song. This is exactly why people watch my streams, right? Not for the riveting gameplay. Or the commentary. Or the puns. It's to watch Boris dance and vibe with the Watcher. Alright, let's hear what the other song is. I'm kind of... I'm enjoying this one. Alright, this is the last one. Fateful Melody. Let's do a toe tapper with this one. I don't know if the dance really fits with the song, but it works. It's for the puns. We got something for everyone here. That's all that matters. All right, I think with that we're gonna go back we only have two more scraps. We're just gonna keep going until we find them. We're almost an hour and ten minutes in. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna win. Day seven. We've made it a whole week. I think I heard the Butcher Gang, actually. Not sure how that's gonna go. Somebody once told me the Butcher Gang will roll me. See what I did there? Kind of added a little twist to it so that it fits thematically with the game. See, this is exactly why I think a music career could take off. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Keep 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 your keep your mind open to the possibility of a Phantom T Max SoundCloud. Oh gosh, you're not actually gonna post the entire song, are you? Oh crap. Dun, 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 dun. I kind of like the chase music for the Butcher Gang. I like the the spring the springy sounds. Boing boing. Carson, before the next stream, remind me to take away your chat privileges. I think I actually read online that the scraps are pretty rare to find. I'm not the only one that has that issue. The sounds that the Butcher Gang members make are kind of gross and creepy. Oh crap. Well, we're gonna get caught. Or not. I don't know how I slipped out of that. Super slippery boy. I don't know how I got out of that. And they don't stop coming. That's right. What's up, Cyber? Good to have you here. It's gonna be nice to have a little bit of moderation. She's just, just mod you, honestly. Could you imagine the ramifications of that action? The machine must endure. So, I'm confused because I read that Boris and the Dark Survival is supposed to be a prequel to Bendy and the Ink Machine. I don't know if I'm getting that wrong. But uh, it's weird that there's all of these like messages and audio tapes leading up to board or bendy in the dark or oh my goodness there's so many different names bendy in the dark revival if this takes place before bendy in the ink machine even happened or maybe i have no idea what i'm talking about that could be a possibility too size 18 boot is that even a thing is it even possible to have a size 18 foot okay 
Please don't be upset with me, but I've never actually watched Game of Thrones. I know that's heresy, but uh, I've actually never got around to watching it. Cyber Cackle coming in clutch with the semicolon. Appreciate it. But uh, I think that's it. So we'll open this locker. We'll grab the wrench and get the heck out of here. Please have a scrap. Oh my gosh. I think this whole level was a huge waste of time. Like a huge waste of time because we spent so much time on it. But I don't think we found a single scrap the whole level. We made it, boys. I don't know what we accomplished. We didn't get any scraps, but we made it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll accept that. I'll accept the fact that we just finished the level. Should I? I'm gonna play as Lost One. I don't know if playing as a more difficult character raises my chances of finding scraps. But, uh, Boris just isn't giving me what I need. So, we're gonna play as the last one. If you would have asked me a couple days ago, this is the character I, like, like, the last character I'd want to play as right now. But, I don't know if this, if playing as a more difficult character means it's easier to find stuff in lockers. We're gonna find out, though. Because I think we've gone like two whole levels in a row without finding a single scrap. Because they, they, they have your walking speed. Like they, they cut it by- Oh, thank you! Thank you! They cut your walking speed by half. So you'd think they'd give you something in return, right? Is his running speed faster than Boris's? I don't think so. It doesn't feel faster. You know what would be really cool? Since there's so many ink puddles all over each level. Um, it'd be neat if, like, the lost one would let you be able to hide in ink puddles. Just to have an extra hiding place that no one else gets. I think that'd be neat. If he doesn't already have a power. Here, let me call up Joey Drew Studios and be like, Yo, I got an idea for your game. You should hire me. And just like that. It'll work, I'm telling you guys. Oh, great. Sounds like there's one up here. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, crap. He was behind me. Alright, we either need a hiding spot or a soup station or we're dead. It looks like they're not going to give me either, so we're dead. I remember why I don't play as the lost one. I remember why I don't play as the lost one ever. Because I don't like playing as the last one. I don't feel like he he gives me anything that... Or like, I feel like he's just here to be harder than uh, Boris. I don't think he does anything to help. You've been, you've been here for almost two hours now. I appreciate that. <gasps> Is this the last scrap? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I think we have all the scraps now. I think we might actually have all the scraps now. So, uh... Let's go check. I'm- Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, it looks finished. It looks finished. Oh... Wait, this is... Wasn't this in the safe house in Chapter 3 of Bendy and the Ink Machine, or am I crazy? I swear that this same exact image is in the same exact spot in Bendy and the Ink Machine. Now I'm wondering. I kind of want to go back and play that game again before Dark Revival. But anyways, all right, this is it. This is this is everything that we've been leading up to. After two hours of streaming, this is it. I don't know what it's going to be. Suddenly. Boris saw a glimpse of the man he used to be. And then it was gone. There's more. I think.
All right. I don't know if that's it. I hear water running. And the music's really creepy all of a sudden. I'm gonna take a quick look around before I just assume that we're done. Because remember when I did that with I'm Scared? The music's really creeping me out. I feel like something bad's about to happen. I kind of want to change this back to Boris, but I don't think that'll make a difference while I'm still in the safe house. Ooh, I'm kind of creeped out. Why does it suddenly sound so creepy? Oh. Oh, it feels like it's getting louder. Alright, is there anything going on in the art gallery? Is he still over here just chilling out? Another one of these boxes. I feel like they just keep showing up and I don't know what they do. You got anything new to say? Can you believe what we're seeing? Is that it? <laughs> did we uh did we accomplish everything? Until they inevitably add a new update to the game? Alright, let's just go through all of the all the checklists and make sure that I've done absolutely everything. We have every song, every music track, we have every step. I'm just gonna look at this one just for old time's sake, because this one's probably the coolest one. Oh, I'm not even Boris. Haha, -ha, funny. Alright, we have all the music, we have all the dance steps. We got all the candles and gave Sammy back his mask. Doesn't seem to be anything over here. We're out of soup, so I have to walk slow now. I know we found all the fuses because we played Wally's game. And we found all the the keys because we opened up this box over here. We found all of Mila's tapes, who happened to be Alice. And we found the key to the door. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we might have finished this game. I think we've done everything that's in the game currently that there is to do. And if I'm wrong, or if they come out with an update, um, maybe we'll come back to it. But with that, I think that we are finished with Boris and the Dark Survival. We streamed for a good two hours tonight. And, uh, I feel like we accomplished a lot. And I really liked this game. It was a good time killer, but it was also fun. I just like being back in the Bendy and the Ink Machine universe again. Because, uh, I really enjoyed that game. And I've been eagerly anticipating the sequel. So just being able to play, run around the studios, um, see our boy Boris again. Get some lore. You know, the last couple nights have been very eventful, and I and I am glad that I played this. So, with that, I think that we are going to end this series. At least until a new update comes out. Maybe we'll come back to it. But uh, I have some games lined up that I think um, we're going to play in the next few weeks. Uh, I know that I've been promising SCP Containment Breach. That's a game that's been requested quite a few times, and I, uh, I'm really excited to play that one. We still have to play Penumbra Requiem, finish off the Penumbra games so that we can uh, move on to games like Amnesia and Soma. And uh, we got some games coming up on the horizon to look out for. We got um, Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. When that comes out, I want to play it. Um, and then... Outlast Trials, that's probably still a ways away. But uh, we got a lot of stuff coming up. I love you too. Thank you for sticking around. I thought you left actually, Boy of Legend. I didn't know you were still here. Thank you so much for sticking around, both you and Bone Carson. You guys have been great. You've been here pretty much the entire the entire night. So um, I really appreciate that you guys were here. Oh, I didn't even know that you couldn't hear me this whole time. I'm so sorry. The fact that you stayed here and you couldn't hear, that I, I, I really appreciate that. But uh, with that, 
for the people watching on YouTube, I'm going to end this recording here. I'll see you guys in the next game that I play, and thank you for watching.